right, team, this is a fun one today. This is power strength, about 50 minutes long. Today, you will need a set of heavy weights. If you don't have them, no big deal. But I am going to even use my super heavy 15 pounders along with my eight pounders. The first exercise of every set is going to be a heavy weight exercise. But if you don't have heavy weights, not to worry. You can use whatever weights you typically use. Let's get warmed up. Here we go. Twist. Two regular, two with your arm reach across. Let's get warmed up. How are you feeling? Sore? I am so sore today. Woo, I did two kickboxing workouts yesterday. And boy, oh boy, that always makes me super sore. Speaking of kickboxing, today's workout, we have some unique things. Three unique things in today's workout. We have what I just told you, the heavy weights at the beginning of each set. 10 more seconds here. We're going into a swing squat to lift to toes. In five, three, two, swing it down. Squat, lift up your toes all the way up, reach up high. The second interesting thing of today's workout is before each cardio, we are doing bicycles for our abs, but every variation will be different. So if you want to know a lot of different types of bicycles, this is the class for you to learn. And the third thing is that for our cardio, we are doing kickboxing today. All right, we got that. Eight seconds to go here. Going into right side only, lateral lunge to knee lift. Staying on the right. Two, one, let's go bring it down. Lift that knee, lift that arm up. A Little bit of balance at the top. Keeping that chest up as you drop down. If you feel ready, you can try to touch the floor. Push that booty back. Good. All right, so what do we think? Are we energized? Feeling good about this workout? I am personally feeling a little nervous for this workout. Every time I pull out those heavy, heavy weights. <laughs> Seven seconds. We are not going to the other side yet. We're doing hamstring sweep to reverse lunge. Two, one, let's sweep it out. Lunge it back. Sweep it out, switching legs and then we'll head to that other side. We just do what we can, we push ourselves, challenge ourselves, getting better with each workout, getting stronger each time you come. Good. Stretching out those hamstrings, big step back into that lunge. 12 seconds. Five, three, two, lunge it left, reach it up. This side, a little more challenging for me. We are heading to the floor after this, inchworming, walking our hands out to a lunge twist, alternating sides. 20 seconds. Looking good so far. We have 10. Let's go. Dropping a little lower this time. Four, three, two. Walk those hands out. Lunge, one side, twist. Walk those hands back. Walk them out again to the other side, twist it up. Oh, every part, it's gonna be hard to do anything without groaning. 20 seconds. Good, good. Ready to work that body today. Going into a downward dog, lifting one leg, coming into a push-up. 
Here we go. Back to downward dog. Lift one leg. Coming down into a push-up. Knees or toes. Back up. Other leg. Lift it up. So my husband and my kids, my three boys, <laughs> have all decided to take on the challenge of doing push-ups and sit-ups every night before bed. They've done it so far two nights. <laughs> Should we take bets on how long they're gonna last with this? They think that they're gonna, they're like, we're so committed. We're gonna do this every night. We're gonna get so strong. Three, two, walk-ups, walk-ups with a knee lift. If you don't wanna go up and down, just stand up and do squats with a knee lift. I will show you. Just like this, squat, knee lift. That's it. Not that I want them to fail. Don't get me wrong. But, I don't know, you know how you can just tell that something's not gonna last? They're all gung-ho now. We shall see. Maybe it will last. 12 seconds. They were all in this room last night doing their push-ups and sit-ups. <laughs> Four, three, reach the elbow jacks. Let's go, reach it up, elbow it out. Low impact is perfectly fine, just stepping out. Their goal is to get to, I think it's 100 and 100. So, so far, only my little one is doing all 100 push-ups. 100 sit-ups. He's like my determined one. 20 seconds. The rest are going to build up to it. We got 12. One more exercise coming up of our warm-up. We have two twists, two knee hops. Three, two. Here we go. Ah, twist first, then knee hops. Doesn't really matter. Oh my goodness, we're about to pick up those heavy weights. Woo! The nerves. Trying to keep your feet together on the twist if you can. 20 seconds. We're feeling more warmed up than before. And when we started, fired up, ready to go. We got 10. Keep it going. All the way to the end. Three, two, one. Rest. We on fire yet? <laughs> you will be. I know my calves are burning. Pick up that water, take a sip if you want. Starting out our workout with our heavy weights, if you got them. If not, no big deal. Just underhand rows with the heavy. 20 seconds till we go. Last little bit, whatever you need to do, whatever you need to grab, go ahead and pick up those heavies. 10 seconds. Oh boy. They should be super heavy and challenging. Here we go, three. Hinging forward at the waist, two, one. Let's go row it. Oh my goodness. Just to hold these weights alone. Making sure your shoulders are back and down. You should be looking about three feet in front of your feet. That helps to maintain correct posture and form. Pushing that chest out slightly, pushing that booty out. If you have lighter weights, you can always add in some pulses to make it more challenging. 20 seconds to go. Ooh. Oh my goodness, this workout's gonna kill me, I can tell already. 10, Ooh. let's go, last couple, three, two, one, rest, ha! All right, medium sized weights, onto your right knee, one reverse fly to one row, coming up and down on the row, yes? So you wanna tuck that back toe, 
Reverse fly, two, one, let's go. Coming up and down. The coming up and down really works your glute on the left. I can already feel my back from those heavy rows. How about you? Yes. Great work. We're gonna burn it up today. 25 more seconds here. Sticking with this combo the whole time. Great job, Mickey. 12. Let's go, let's go. Four, three, two, rest. Oh. All right, get rid of those weights. Stay on the floor, onto your tummy. Working more of our lower back now. Hands on your head, coming up to a Superman lift, reaching out, back to head, and down. Two, one, here we go. Up, lift, or reach. So we just had Easter here. Help me remember later. Once we get to something a little easier, I'll tell you a little bit about Easter here and the chaos. As you reach, or as you actually come back with your hands on your head, I want you to reach up very slightly before heading down to the ground. So reach out, hands back to head, lift up, and then down. That's it, 20 seconds. Whew. Way to work that back. So obviously, back is the main muscle group we are working with this first set. Three, two, rest. Heading to that other side, I think. Let me check. Yes. Medium-sized weights. Left knee on the floor. Same thing, reverse slide a row. Coming up and down. You ready? Two, one, here we go. So your, your uh, upper body is slightly leaned over that front leg. Just to be using that gravity against you, working that back. Because if you stayed up, you would be working actually your shoulders, which we will work later. Right now we want to focus on that back. So lean it forward. That's it. Ooh. Who else is going to feel this tomorrow? Guess what? Our first set of bicycles is coming up. 22. Keep it going. You're doing amazing. Let's go for it. Just 10 seconds, that's it. Four, three, two, one, rest. Set your weights down. Regular bicycles, the ones we know and love. Do we love them though? Do we? <laughs> Regular bicycles in four, three, Two, let's go. All right, so let's, let's work on our form here. Elbows are slightly out. They're not pulling in, pulling on your neck. Try to relax them out. Trying to extend that opposite leg completely out straight before you switch. Keeping your lower back on the floor. You can always extend your legs slightly up at a diagonal to keep that back on the floor. Now, can we try to touch our elbow to our knee with each rep without hugging our elbows in, right? Keep them slightly out. There you go. Now your form is on fire. 12 seconds. You're a pro. Four, three, two, rest roll it on up first cardio remember we are kickboxing today first cardio is uppercuts down to a burpee walking or jumping the burpee 
heading into a shuffle down punch next. Two, one, let's go, uppercuts. Burpee. Let's go. So those uppercuts are quick. They're quick, quick, quick. Just like, kind of like bicep flurries, quick. Pump it up, pump it up. Heading into the next cardio with no break in 20. It's going to be a side shuffle to a downward punch. Let's go. We got 10. Five. Three. Be careful of your weight, side shuffle. Downward punch. Be careful where you're stepping. Make it strong. Put some energy into that punch. Boom. Knock them to the ground. Let's go. You got it, Donna. 22. Come on. All the way. Good, Ellie. Six. Three. Two. Rest. Boom. Did you feel the power in your fist? Way to go. Grab water. Walk it around. Heavy weights, we ready? Heavy, heavy weights. Reverse lunge to overhead press, grab them. Five, we're alternating sides. Three, two, let's go, reverse lunge. Overhead press. I am gonna make it two separate movements. Feel free to make it one movement. Okay, look up, I'll show you, just like this. All together. I'm gonna break mine up into two movements. Why is that? Well, <laughs> when you can barely lift your weights over your head, this is how we survive. So Easter here, what, uh, my kids love to do the egg hunt. They love it. They're, they're eight, 11, and 13. They still love it, love it. So I kind of bought like special eggs, not just candy, like, other stuff. Eight seconds. Oh. Four. Three. Two. Ah, get those heavy weights down. Medium. Working shoulders. Lunge, pulse with an elbow raise. Coming down. As you come up, lift those elbows. Two, one, let's go. Down. Up. Now. Feel free to do one arm at a time if you need to. My shoulders are toast. So we always hide eggs in the yard, which is really fun. And this year, it was raining the whole day, like unexpectedly. So we couldn't hide them outside. Oh man, those shoulders. To be continued. 20 seconds. Ah, Let's go. Bring that lunge way down that knee, <clears throat> almost to the floor. We got 10, a few more. Five. Two, one, ah. Boom! You're killing me! All right, center. Woo! Racking the weights. Swivel one knee in, then pressing up. Two, one, here we go. Swivel, press up. Like an Arnold press. You guys know Arnold Schwarzenegger? Or is that too old for you? I just heard last week that he had, he's a famous, very famous bodybuilder, in case you didn't know. He's also in movies. Heard last week that he had a pacemaker put in 
And when they said that, they said he's also had like three, maybe, open heart surgeries. So, hopefully he's doing okay. That's a big deal, 20 seconds. Whew. Don't worry, I will get back to Easter as soon as I get a reprieve, which will be never in this workout. Five, three, two, ah, rest. Keep those weights high. Other side lunge, this time, shoulder raise. I'm gonna go one arm, you can go two arms if you'd like. Down and up. Two, one, let's go. <laughs> Having trouble balancing today. That's it. Ah, oh, this workout's killing me. Second set of bicycles are coming up. So anyway, we had our egg hunt in the house. Kids absolutely loved it, but Never again, I tell you, never again am I doing that. I don't care how much it's raining or hailing, we'll be wearing coats because the whole house was turned upside down. I mean, they just, they don't even care. Of course they don't, they're kids. No respect, right? They turned over every cushion, every pillow, every chair was like practically upside down. Seven seconds to find those eggs as fast as possible. Two, one, ah, set your weight down. All right, bicycles, same as before, this time tempo. So we go too fast, one hold, boom, boom, hold. Two, one, boom, boom, one, hold. Boom, boom, hold. Boom, boom, hold. There you go, you're on it. Oh. Great work. Everything, all the form tips from before, we remember? Also, sometimes with the speed, you want to tuck your chin and kind of hide yourself. <laughs> don't be hiding, don't be hiding. Lift that chin up proudly. Not too high, but you're sort of looking just above your knees if you were looking at your knees. 15 seconds to go. Have those abs. Fire it up. Seven. Three. Two. Rest. All right, what do we got? Cardio. Same exercise, we do both sides, starting with the right only. Hold on. Ah. We have a jab, cross, jab, cross. Reverse kick, let's go. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Reverse kick. Boom, 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 boom. Hop, 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 hop. No jumping in this one, but a lot of power. A lot of flair. <laughs> if you want, you can always add some sort of a jump before the punches if you'd like. If you're richest. You just can't live without the jumps. 15 seconds, we head right to the other side. Good, Kirby. Way to energize. Four, three, two, other side, let's go. Take a second. Get the rhythm. That kick doesn't have to be high. Just has to be full of energy. Same with the punches. Lots of energy. There's a big difference between energized and flimsy, yeah? Flimsy. Flimsy, right? We don't want that. We want to be powerful, strong. 10 seconds. Go. Four. Two, rest, how'd you do? Good job, grab your water, take a sip, take a little break. 
skull crushers, triceps, on your back, heavy weights. We go in 10, get ready. Make sure to grab your weights, then bring it back so you don't strain yourself. Three, two, here we go, drop them down. You can always do one arm at a time if you need to. Try to keep your elbows in place. Try to relax your face. I know it's hard. If you have lighter weights, you can always add some pulses at the bottom, like bring it down, pulse for two, then up. If you want more of a challenge. All right, so back to Easter. The whole house is turned upside down. Still missing six eggs, I think. Couldn't find them. My little one, my eight-year-old, found two of them yesterday. We found a couple. We found some there. We all, actually, we only have four, three, two, rest. Bring it up. Bring it up first, then get rid of your weights. It helps to put your legs in the air and roll yourself up. We just need one weight, we're on our knees. Oh my goodness. Well, who put this one in? <laughs> Tricep, kick back. Right arm only, right arm only. On your knees to start. After 30 seconds, we will try to pick up your knees and hover. Yes, we are gonna do that. Yes, you're gonna do that. We will do it together, we will suffer together. Oh wow can really feel those triceps from the skull crushers. Here we go, tuck your toes in the back, tuck them, keep doing the kickback, but lift your knees slightly off the ground, very slightly, not, not all the way up to here, this is not it. Bring them down, all the way down, almost to the ground, just hovering them. Just 15 seconds to go, that's it. Come on, keep kicking back. Bring those knees down a little lower, almost to the floor. You got this. Five, three, two, rest. Uh, come on up to standing. We won't go to the other side quite yet, but we will, we will. All right, swing through, squat swing to a tricep overhead. Two, one, alternate sides, let's go. You don't have to step out if you don't want to. You can just keep your legs wide and swing down. It's up to you. As you do the tricep, trying to keep your shoulders in, not letting them splay out. Big swing, big step. All the way through those legs. So we currently still have one egg lurking around the downstairs down here. Wouldn't it be funny if it was just sitting behind me on the shelf? <laughs> One missing egg. The question is, will we find it? Will we find that egg? Luckily, it's not a real egg. It's a fake egg. So it's not gonna cause a huge stench. <laughs> Eight seconds, maybe that would be a good thing though, then we'd find it. Four, three, two, up and over. Whew. One weight, guess what? We got that hover. Oh man, you can do this. Last tricep, last tricep. I know, I feel mine too. They're killing me, two, one. Starting on your knees, enjoy this. Think about your tricep working. Keep your elbow high. Trying not to swing quite so much forward. That's it. Are we ready to hover? I know how much you love to hover. Eight more seconds. Go ahead and tuck those toes. Get ready. Get ready. Two, one. Lift those knees slightly up. Here we go. Yes. You're doing so great. This is it for triceps. Keep kicking back. Come on. Keep those knees slightly off the floor. 13 seconds to go, that's it. You got this. You're a pro, remember? Five, three, 
two. Ah, rest. Yikes. All right. Next bicycle variation. You're gonna love this one. Bicycle kicks. So straight legs. Just back and forth. Straight legs. Two, one. Let's go. Twisting. I know, I know. It's not really a bicycle, but we got the twist part down. Try to keep your knees straight if you can. It's also a good stretch for your hamstrings. Now we can't quite, at least I can't. I can maybe touch my knee, elbow to knee. You can try it. Maybe if you're really flexible. <laughs> try to keep your head and shoulders off the floor the whole time. We have 25 seconds to go. Are we excited about cardio? Yay! Coming up. Almost there, 12. Let's go, let's go. Way to push it. Way to stay strong. Three, two, one. Rest. Ah! Roll it on up. Great to standing. Fast feet to front kicks. Once again, they don't have to be high. They have to be powerful. Two, one. Fast feet. Front kicks. Boom, boom. Hop. Get those feet moving. Quick, 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 quick. Hop. Go, Steve. Hop. Next up, 20 more seconds. Roundhouse punches. Adding a little jump if you want as we punch. Coming up. 10. Go. Three, two, jump and punch into it. Or without the jump. Without the jump, still powerful squatting. With the jump, little hop. All the way around. Boom! Come on, knock him across the face. <laughs> Let's go. Now everybody, little deeper squat. Little bit deeper. 20 seconds. I always find kickboxing to be so hard keeping my eyes open. They always want to shut as if I'm blocking a punch or something. Seven, you two, three, two, rest. Amazing work. Grab your water. Whew, that was tiring. Oh. All right, hammers, heavy weights, that's right, 10 seconds, pick them up, let's go, three, two, starting with me, go for it, you can always do one arm at a time if you need to. all the way down to straight before coming up again. <sighs> what a difference heavy weights makes. <laughs> oh. 30 seconds to go. So we took the kids last week. Last week my kids were on spring break. <laughs> we took them to Magic Mountain, which is the big roller coaster theme park around here. <sighs> If you have a six flag. 12 seconds. Oh, goodness. I will tell you something about that in a second. Three, two, rest. Way to go. You're doing better than I am, I tell you that. Okay, what do we got? Right leg back into a lunge with a bicep. I think we'll step it back. We will go ahead and step into it. Stepping it back and then bicep up. Here we go. Oh, yeah, those biceps. This is kind of 
kind of like a drop sets workout a little bit in a way. Yeah, so we took, we went our whole, all five of us. My husband, me, the three boys. And uh, my kids, my older kids were finally starting to go on the big roller coasters. We will just stay with this the whole minute. We won't do any pulses. And my little one, my eight year old has always been daring. He wants to go on everything, but he can't because of his height. 10 seconds. But he went on the scariest ride at the park. Three, two, rest. Oh, all right. In a wide squat, we have one bicep serve. Let's do two bicep serves into just a hinge, forward and back. Two, one, let's go. Bicep serves for two. Then all you do is push that booty back, push it back, and bring it forward. Keeping that squat the whole time, keeping that bicep up the whole time too. Oh, no wonder I did the wrong thing for lunch. That wasn't what I planned, but that's okay. I'll show you what I had planned originally. You'll be happy we didn't do it. What we did was much better. 25 seconds to go. Whew. Challenging. Yes, it is. It's supposed to be. We are getting strong right before our eyes. 10 seconds to go. You've heard it all before. Three, two. Ah, rest. What I had planned was one weight holding a lunge with a concentrated bicep, but that's good. We will do the step lunge into bicep. Three, left leg back. Two, one. Let's go, step it back. If you want, you can always do what I said and switch it at 30 seconds to the other hand if you'd like. You're like, man, I just got to do what Courtney had planned originally. This is it for biceps. Do what you need to do. If you want to add pulses, if you want to hold them down, I mean halfway up. There goes my brain. So after five rides, my husband was done. He's like, I'm, I'm done. No more rides for me. After, I want to say seven rides, my 13 year old was done. He's like, I'm sick. No more for me. Eight seconds. My middle 11 year old. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, bicycles. This time with a leg lift. All right. We have, it's easier if you flex your feet to one side, then lift that opposite leg up and down. Here we go. So you hold one side, lifting the opposite leg up and down. You got it? Good. Another bit of a hamstring stretch. Feels nice. My 11 year old did eight rides. He did pretty good, but he was ready to go. He's like, I, by the eighth one, he's like, I don't even want to do this, but I'll do it. My eight year old would have done all 10 rides, would have, but couldn't probably because his height. He did six rides, but you're looking at the champ. 10 seconds. Now, is this something to be proud of? <laughs> that I did all 10? I'm bragging about it. Three, two, rest. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a bragger. All right, what do we got here? Side kick to hurdle. Side kick, hurdle. That means knees come up and over. Then other side. Two, one, let's go. Side kick, hurdle. Get those knees up. It's a bit of a balance challenge doing this one. You can step over if you're low impact, 
Just snap that kick. Boom. Let's go. 25 seconds. Get those knees up. Get them up. Get them up. Up and over. Power. Going into a jump up with our hands blocking our face into a hook. Coming up in eight. Four. Two. Jump block. Hook. Jump. Hook. Make sure you block your face. You don't want them getting you. You get them, then you block. Go. Hook. 30 seconds to go. This is it for our cardio today. Make it count. Big jump. Yes, you can lift your toes. Yes, you can. Go. 13. Come on, push. Seven. Four. Two. Rest. Did you knock them out? Good. Grab your water. Oh no. Man, I forgot. We got some hard stuff to come. Chest press, 10 seconds. On your back, grab your weights. Then bring it back. Regular chest press. Three, two, down and up. Here we go. Yeah, we went on a ride that we'd never been on before. I went on with my two olders and it was like, like you're flying like a bird. Like you're suspended. The harness is on your tummy and you're, you're like, you know, facing the ground and you do all this crazy stuff. And after that, my two kids were like, I am sick. <laughs> I felt so proud, I have to say. I just, I love it when an almost 45 year old mom can beat her young boys. Just makes me so happy. What can I say? I never think of myself as that competitive yet. I guess I am. 10 seconds. It just makes me feel good when, you know, the underdog wins. Three, two, rest. Bring those legs up, roll it up. Oh my gosh. This one is gonna be no fun. All right, just one weight, just one weight. Right leg only coming into a spider push-up. Weight in your left hand and then kicking it through. We've done this before. Let's go. Option to just do the spider push-up on your knees. I'm showing you now on your knees. Then you can come up and do a twist and you can also kick it out if you'd like. Let's go ahead and modify if you need to. You know, I think what it is is I know that beating my boys in anything is not gonna last too much longer. So I'm just relishing in it now. 20 seconds, whether it's anything athletic or anything daring, 12. Yes, my quad is hurting too. Five. Three. Two. Rest. All right. Medium weights back on our back. Chest fly to lat with a bridge up. Bridging up your hips. Fly it out. Lat it back. Two. One. Here we go. Bring those hips up. Squeeze that booty. Gosh, feels so much easier after those heavy weights, yeah? Final exercise coming up before our cool down. You know what it is. Yes, we gotta do another round of those Spider-Mans. job you have pushed yourself in this one that's for sure 
Make sure you treat yourself today. 12 seconds. It's important every day to look forward to something. Something that you have coming up in your day that you're excited about. Two, one, booty down, legs come up, roll yourself up, get rid of one weight, other side to finish it out. Yeehaw, one more. Five seconds, weight in your right hand, left leg, leg coming forward, here we go. You know your modifications, yes? Yes, you have to hop that foot a little bit out and in. Try to bring that knee all the way in toward your elbow for that push-up. You are so strong. You are so tough. Almost there. Let's go. We got 20 seconds. Remember, you can join me live for this class. We got our livers on here right now. So happy you came. Motivating me. We love to say hi after when we're all sweaty. Two, one, rest. Ah, so good. Give us a thumbs up. Get ready for the cool down. What do we got? Cross-legged, crisscross. Reaching side to side. Here we go. One hand on the floor, the other hand up. Just reaching side to side. We're all at different flexibility, so you might be a lot better than me at this one. There's a good chance of it. Just do what you can. How did we do today? Do you feel like you pushed yourself? I know you did. If you did this workout, you definitely pushed yourself. All right, coming into downward dog, right leg is up, coming through to a lunge twist. Kind of like our warm up a little bit. Nice rotation. Always good to get in some rotation if you can, almost every day, to keep your spine healthy. Oops. Did I miss it? Yep. <laughs> Bring that leg forward, kneeling down, reach behind, try to grab that foot and get your quad. Or you can stand up and grab your foot for a quad stretch. We only have 10 more seconds of it. You can always hold it a little longer if you'd like. Wow, that was a tough one. Release your foot if you're ready or you can hold on to it. Coming into a hip stretch on the right. Left arm comes across, twisting toward your right side. Feeling a great stretch in your hip. If it's too much to keep it uh, bent, you can always bring your lower leg out straight if you'd like. Do you like the kickboxing? Kind of fun for a change, huh? Come into center splits and just walking. Bring it center first and then just walking side to side. And then we'll head to the other side. What about the bicycles? Which bicycle was your favorite? Let's see here. Which one was my favorite? Regular? <laughs> Can I say that? Go ahead and come on up, <clears throat> back to downward dog. Left leg comes up this time, sweeping it through to that lunge, twisting up and down. You can leave me a comment. Tell me if you do an egg hunt in your house or outside. Tell me if you like roller coasters. What else did we talk about? Ah, tell me about the exercises, of course. Go ahead and kneel it down or stand it up, grab your other foot, and get that quad. 
Oh, hamstring cramp, hamstring cramp. It happens. I will stand it up. Let's see here. Left leg. Five seconds. <laughs> Did you get a cramp too? Great job. All right, get into that hip stretch. Last little stretch here. You can keep that leg out or bend it in and twist it. As always, links are in the description. If you like my mat, I like it too. It is my absolute favorite. Lasts for years from Gorilla Mat. That's in there with a discount code. You've got Amazon Store, all the good stuff. Oh, and to join me live. And to join me live. Don't forget, I would love to see you here. I'm gonna just come through forward fold, roll it on up. Head comes up very last. We did it, team. You did it. That was amazing. If you use those heavy weights, fantastic work. The bicycles, the kickboxing, everything. You smashed it. Crushed another one, team. Way to go. I will see you for the next workout. Make sure to look up the live link. See if you can join me. See if it fits with your schedule. And I will see you here. All right, have a good one. Get some water.